Hi everybody and welcome to post week one of my OSCP update. Now I'm happy to report that I have completed all of the labs in the course. Uh, so all 66 lab machines. I didn't get a chance to do the 67th before it was retired, but what are you going to do? So on top of that, uh, as I mentioned in previous videos, I was planning to do a practice exam in which I would leave alpha, beta, gamma, and a buffer overflow to do in a 24 hour period. Now I'm really excited and happy to report that this went down so well. I managed to do the three machines and a buffer overflow in 12 and a half hours, including breaks and including half an hour where my internet actually went down. So that really filled me with a lot of confidence when approaching the exam. But that being said, I'm still studying my butt off trying to uh, learn more privilege escalation methods that might be useful for the OSCP. So on the topic of privilege escalation, I did the Windows and Linux Priv S courses by Tiberius uh, on Udemy. And these were just such great value. Uh, I didn't go through the lab exercises with the virtual machines, but instead I looked at his methodology and really emulated that in my own. So I, it was really good just to consolidate all the information from PWK plus a little bit more into these nice short videos where I could just streamline all my checks, make a solid methodology to approach my privilege escalation. And now I'm feeling very confident, especially on Windows with privilege escalation. I can't recommend these courses uh, enough. Uh, Tiberius is a pretty cool dude. He, I reached out to him on Discord with a question and he was more than happy to help me. So show your support, buy these courses. He's a community member just like us doing really great things. Now onto other forms of practice. I've been working on Hack the Box with the VIP subscription. So I've been able to access all the retired machines. So I've been working through TJ Null's OSCP Hack the Box list and I basically ordered these from a user rated difficulty from easiest to hardest. So I've completed well over half of that list now and some machines were just really easy where I could knock over at least five in a day. Um, now they're starting to get a little bit more challenging which is good because when I don't know something and I check the solutions, I then learn how to implement that into my workflow moving forward. And this generally tends to be within the exploitation uh, phase. Uh, I've noticed Hack the Box are quite heavy on password reuse, uh, which wasn't something that was strongly emphasized in the PWK labs, but it's still something worth taking forward. So as I mentioned, I'm just trying to smash out as many of these machines as possible. And I'm hoping to get to about 100 total machines rooted before I take my exam. So this includes the 66 from the OSCP labs and 34 from the uh, Hack the Box labs. And considering I'm at 30, it's only a couple of more, a day or two until I hit that 100 target anyway. So on the topic of the exam, I am starting to regret scheduling this so far ahead because there's only so much Hack the Box you can do uh, before you kind of stop learning new things. I don't think I'm there yet, but I definitely see this as something that could happen quite soon. So it's really just trying to maintain this momentum, maintain these study hours. Uh, I've dropped down to about 35 to 30 hours per week, but I still think that is good progress, especially that I don't need to invest as much time to get the same results as what I did when I started the OSCP. My process is much faster and I'm much quicker at, at enumerating and discovering vulnerabilities and doing privilege escalation. So that's pretty much it. I just wanted to finish by saying thank you to everybody who has been so kind to me in the comments. I never really expected this amount, this amount of support when doing my OSCP. I actually thought my viewership would drop off a cliff. However, it's more than doubled in this time. So just thank you all so much for your support, for subscribing. I really look forward to doing a lot of cool content after this is done. So please stay tuned for that. Anyway, thanks again, and I'll see you in the next one.